Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft Edge Kids Mode and what that'll do is it'll allow you to start a browser session for your kids and prevent them from accessing certain websites based on their age but you can actually fine-tune this a little if you need to do that. So by default, you know, if they come up and log on your computer or if it's just like this and they go open up a browser, they could do whatever they want. Let's say they go search for guns, you know, and they could get to the gun site. But if you come up first, open up the browser, and then you click on your profile here, there's a browse in kids mode. And now you can see it takes up the whole screen, blocks off your taskbar, and now if we t type in guns, it'll bring up the search results, but if you click on one of them, it says kids mode can't get to the site. That's because, you know, it's a site they shouldn't be going to. And if you want to, if this is something they should be able to get to, you can click on get permission, and then you'd have to put in your Windows PIN or password to grant them permission to that website. Otherwise, they would go back, and they'd back, be back here at the uh, search results. So let me show you how you could kind of adjust some of the settings here. So for one thing I want to show you too is when they're done, all they need to do is if they try and close it, they need your password even to close out what they were working on. So you know that way they can't hide what they were doing because you could come back here and they can't even close out until you put in your pin or password. But one little thing I noticed is when they click on the close out here, the taskbar comes back and they could still click on things, but they can't open another edge session though. I'll just keep them at the same thing. So once they want to close that, you come out and you put in your pin and they're back out here. So to change the settings for kids mode, you need to go to, in, to the uh, edge settings, but you need to do it not in kids mode, obviously. So click on the dots here, go to settings, and then you want to find family. And so here's the two choices. So this will kind of base their, what they could look at based on these two age groups here. And it kind of tells you what they could do. So if you want to just have it set to one, you know, if your kids are in this range, you could just leave it on this one and it'll automatically use this mode when you turn it on. Or you could use this mode. Or you could turn it on like that. And so next time you go to kids mode, then you could pick a age group for them to uh, browse in. So that's up to you. I just want to leave it on whatever mode you think is best for them. Okay, now manage allowed site in kids mode. So they have some built-in default sites here that they think are kids kid friendly. And so like right now, animalplanet.com, they could get to it. But if I take it out of this, and I think you need to close the browser and reopen it. Go to kids mode here. So here's animalplanet.com, it says it can't go to that. So now let's uh, close this out. Go back to the settings. You might not have to close the browser every time, I just like to do it just to make sure things are updating. Go back to the settings, family. Nice. Now we could add a website. I don't know if, let's just do without the uh, HTTP just to see how that works. Animalplanet.com. And so now we have, so it automatically added it, so that's good. So let's close out. Start a new kids mode session. Let's do Animal Planet. And now we can get into Animal Planet. So yeah, pretty simple. Let me close out of here. So once again, just open the browser for them. Well, you might want to go in before you enter kids mode. Just go into the edge settings. Uh, then to family and pick which one of these you want to use or if you want to prompt it each time then you could check out the let's check out the sites for the 9 to 12 it might be the same kind of thing looks like it and then you could go in here if you have some websites that you know they should be able to access 
without having to get permission from you. You could just add, you know, pre-populate them as you feel fit. Or if there's some of these you want to block, you could do that. And then, like I said, you just have to go to your profile picture, browse in kids mode. And then that's all you got to do. And they could even come in here and change the color in the background if they want to do that kind of thing. Oops. So it just gives them a kind of a fun way to kind of personalize it for themselves. So there you go. That's a kid's mode in a nutshell. So it's kind of, it's not the greatest thing, but it's better than nothing, assuming you could uh, open the browser window for them and they can't get on your computer without you logging them in to begin with. And that's probably another good thing you might want to do just to keep yourself, uh, or actually keep them safe, I should say. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>